Hi everyone, welcome to Action Figuratorium. It is Monday and we are in the studio today doing some photography of toys. Oh, hello there. And um, just turn the volume down on the desktop here. And before we get too far into it, I'd like to just say everybody needs one of these. My uh, special thanks to my friend Slaughterhouse, who uh, is on Twitch. You can find him at the uh, Slaughterhouse channel. He plays Synth Modular. Gave me this little dog here and it's turned out to be quite an exciting toy. Today what we have in store for the folks is this character. This is uh, Natsumi, I believe her name is, and this is Yoda. And today they're going to have a little bit of a, a kung fu fight. I've got, some, uh, I've got some toys here. In fact, hey, let's go to the other cam. And, uh, whoa, show what we've got. Some things to make cool, like sort of kung fu sets. We've got some uh, statues of dragons. I've got a plethora of, uh, of china balls. Uh, I've got just some gratuitous things like little, uh, little uh, cups that could be bowls, etc. We've also got uh, this sumo wrestler here and a little rug that he sits on. I've got this, uh, what's this thing? Oh, I painted this yesterday. This is a uh, little bridge and here's like a little kind of cool structure that I just painted yesterday and finished up today. A couple other items. I've got this nacho cheese bowl from a restaurant that's full of some magic rocks and a um, keychain says Japan on it. So we're going to see if we can do something a bit kung fu-ish today. That is all coming up on today's action figure at all. Back here live in the studio in Milwaukee, Oregon, we are doing photography in the B stage here at Island Station Media Lab. I have with me, of course, always a couple of lights and a 12 foot wide psych. That's uh, all this area back here with some overheads. I am shooting on the trusty Lumix GH3 Panasonic DSLR camera. And as some of you know, I do like to do what is called subject cam, where I let you see exactly what the camera sees. And I think that that is part of the magic of the show. Now let me just turn it over here and tilt down and we'll focus it up. And you can see that there is a whole bunch of props and crap on the psych that we're gonna be working with today. And we're gonna see if we can make something cool happen. I also have this bag of uh, bamboo fiber, which could be snow, but looks more like clouds. And I thought maybe a little battle in the clouds or in the mist. I've also got this, came with a, uh, came with a mouse mouse sat on this came in a package but it's a little plastic clear stand that somebody can be propped up on and then you can kind of make that go away um, I need to get some more sort of visual things like that we're doing sort of floating hanging people in the air and uh, of course I will be answering any chats that you uh, 
I'm still here. Any chats that might pop up? I am currently uh, trying to monitor the chat room, as it were, and we'll answer questions as needed. So where to begin? Well, let's see here. I've got a Yoda, and I've got uh, a little... And let's go to the table cam. I've got a Yoda, and I've got an uh, anime figure, and she's doing some cool kung fu. And they're really small, so I almost feel like maybe I should grab the macro lens. Let's um, see what happens. I grab the macro lens if it's over here. No, it is actually still in the, uh, it's in the other camera bag. Maybe I'll go get that after I frame up some shots with the wide lens. We'll switch to that. We'll do a little intermission. But we'll start with this lens, see what we can do. So I think what I'm going to start with is um, and today I guess I guess I can move camera one I guess I can move camera one so that people can sort of watch the action I think what we're going to start with is we're going to put a little bit of this nice fluffy stuff this nice fluffy sort of cloud-like material here and uh, sort of put it put it out there save the bag the stuff is genius we'll maybe set this over here maybe this is over here Let me uh, switch to so this is as far in as I can go. If I want to get closer. I have to move it to the lens and uh, so. Make a little, make a little uh, fluffy cloud-like experience here, and maybe we. See how far I can get by just resting this on top of this little plastic insert here. Uh, this, I pulled this character apart and now they are battling me to not stay together. And this may require This may require a fix. This may require a little bit of gluing this piece back together. All right, hold tight, folks. Let's go to our tabletop cam. Fancy glue. Recently purchased from the dollar store. Will require a knife of some sort, which I shall go grab. I do have my wireless on. Should be able to walk and talk 
around the studio as I go. I'm now in the studio kitchen. Hope you can still hear me. Grabbing a knife. All right, I've made a little slice. Coming back in, back in the stewed. I'm gonna start by doing a little bit of repair on the character. this thing. Uh, let me make one more walk back, one more slice on this. When you buy stuff from the dollar store, you get what you pay for, my friends. Let that be a lesson to y'all. Get what you pay for. All right, so... A little bit of this. Uh, is this the glue I want or is this glue terrible? This glue seems to be crap. Uh, this pin works. Don't really want to like glue it in forever. Just want it to work. Bring it down. All right. That's fitted there. And oh, it worked a second ago, and now it, it doesn't want to go. What have I done to deserve this punishment? There we go. No. All right, hold on. I feel like there's gonna be more things breaking today. I feel like today is a whole day of things possibly breaking. We may be in for a long, long trip of broken dreams today. And uh, I don't wish that upon anyone, but it does happen, you know, you make the best of it. Mm, could use a little napkin. All right, here we are. Thank God for wireless microphones. All right, take up a little extra here. This uh, fits in there. This is the kind of glue that should just Keep it from, yeah, this glue sucks. I'm gonna go to something a little stronger. Just wanted to put something to make it tacky to keep it from just popping out. And it's a good try. All right, I'm gonna go to Super Joe. Yeah, here we are. Oh, hello there. A little dark in the shop, but that's okay. We're getting ready to kung fu it up here in a bit. A couple of repairs. does require a 
a little bit of patience. This will give me some time to work with the Yoda poses. Well, throw this crap in the trash. And we'll cut to Studio Cam 2. This is my wide shot. Fly on the wall shot for everybody. See here. We'll dab where the pin goes. I hate to have to rebuy this figure, but if that's what it takes, you know, worse things have happened. And when you do photography, it's all about crossing the finish line. It is actually not the journey, uh, which sounds weird for someone doing a photography show to suggest that. Here we are. All right, back to, to this. All right, so we've got... Yoda character and let's just go to let's just see what some of these shots are supposed to look like this is as far as I can zoom in this is uh, not as wide as I can get this is as wide as I can get the characters are very small. So the idea is we'll sort of create a kind of a weird landscape. Maybe this guy is on the bridge. That way we get the bridge in there. He's got a lightsaber. And Lock this down, and let's throw on some lights in this guy. I think we might have to go super lights because these guys are so small that it's hard to get the details from them. All right, so I'm looking at him, and I've got these little wispy clouds, and he might have to be turned this way. Now, we're going to see what we can do about floating the character. Up in the air. Like that. Uh, interesting, it looks, even though they're right next to each other, tying my shoe here, even though they are right next to each other in real life, they are miles away in the camera, plus the white balance is absolutely crazy right now. Um, what do you guys think of Blue Land? Also, my my ISO is crazy. You know, I feel like, guys, I feel like we might have to go to tabletop shots and go off the tripod. This is a feeling I get from doing these before. Okay, hold on here. All right, we are back to the shot of me. Uh, I'm going to grab the camera off the tripod. I'm going to take it off the foot. 
We'll keep the tripod here if we need it. For the most part, it's in the way. We're going to put the camera on this little mini tripod, courtesy of Mr. Dan Goldman. to the subject cam and we've got a really we've got so much light here everything is so white that we are able to we are able to uh, to get just a super low ISO and uh, I've got some more fluffy clouds to cover up this. Got fluffy Yoda. Um, I've got a bunch of junk in the background. All right, this guy can go. We'll sort of put, you know, see what happens here, maybe. We're going to go in and we'll go in from this side. Maybe we're going to rotate the whole thing this way. We can put some obligatory statues in the background here. We are trying to find a shot. We are working on finding a shot that works with this lens. All right. I've got so much light. to back some off just so that we can get more into the composition and then we'll figure out the lighting we go uh, exposure So we've got this person, kung fu kicking up in the air. We've got these weird statues we don't really need. We can put this sort of in the background. Can't even really see it. But if you go up like this, Got a very blue ISO. Uh, a very blue white balance, I should say. Let's go. This is my creepy yellow. Don't like that as much. And that 
That was a sh auto white balance shot. All right, let's see here. Let's, you guys still following along with me? We're gonna go to some pistol grip action. Getting a little better. The composition's coming together. The characters are coming together. Um, taking the stick off. I need to go lower so that I can catch the uh, person floating in space. Bit of this action. Call this battle in the clouds or battle in the mist. Uh, do I need all this? Maybe I do. See, this is starting to look a lot cooler, isn't it? But still not that cool. Something's not quite right. And we'll get there, folks. We'll get there. You really only need one shot that works, to be honest. And I feel as if, uh, as if it's coming. Um, maybe if I had something to set this on so that it would stick out. Like that. And the closer the better. I don't know if you guys can see what's going on here. Bring my little tabletop cam in. Oh god. Oh you guys like me now. Yeah, it's tough when it's in black and white, I agree. I agree, guys. Not saying no, saying yes. Mark is here, he is saying yes exactly what's happening uh, let's, I got some more get these guys up above the clouds this is coming out it was a one out of five we've now reached two out of five and uh, And you can see here, let's go back to uh, subject cam. You can see that we've got Darling Yoda. All right, so again, stuff that looks like it's right next to each other in real life is miles away in the camera. Got some cool dragon statues. Yoda is barely in the shot. He's on this little land bridge. Um, anytime I come up with something good enough for the Facebook group I belong to. I always try to post it, but I'll tell you what, man, there's some guys out there who do such fantastically cool stuff. Guys who've got like squibs and lasers and smoke machines and, and stuff like that, that 
I feel like I feel like I'm not even in their league and I kind of I kind of quit and I started just going for my own amusement and I figured if there's a way to one day catch up to those guys I will uh, but it ain't gonna be today all right so like this like this let's let's go to this cam I think what else we've got here we can here let me let me show you let me just move around the set here if we were to look down on it so we've got dragon um, structure another dragon hero and Yoda maybe uh, maybe the, the bridge is in the background I don't know maybe the, the bridge is one of the best looking pieces You know? There's our tune. And, uh, exposure can't get any. Can't get any, uh, I can't iris down anymore at this focal length. Whoa. Uh, I changed the shutter speed there for a second and it started to look terrible. All right. So we got our Kung Fu star. Which, by the way, I don't really have to do anything with her. I just have to get the composition correct. Um, Yoda's having a hard time standing. Maybe he needs a little, a little... I had him on the bridge. Maybe he's... He goes back on the bridge. But then to get him close in the shot... God, it just to me it sounds like we just need to switch lenses. Anyways, I like this, I like this sort of clouds on the ground kind of thing, but at what point, at what point does it just look like, like I'm shooting on fluffs of cotton? And, uh, and let's face it, the lightsaber is kind of dumb. All right, so I guess he should be sideways like this, right? You guys agree or disagree? All right, so he's in focus, she's out of focus. And he's barely in the frame. All right, let's go back to this. All right. A little better there. A little better. Let's let's focus her up. Oh yeah. Look at that. Um, two just rocks. Eh, I can't really see them. Cool, the bridge is just sort of, the bridge should just be in the background, I guess. Like it's kind of, all right, so it's becoming clear to me that Sorry, going back to subject cam. That we're gonna have to get right behind the Yoda, and he's gonna be 
out of focus then. And you can see a little bit of the clear plastic thing. I'm not too worried. Yona's sort of popping out now. Popping out above the snow banks. It looks kind of like maybe she's jumping off the house. Move this guy out. I don't want to cut anybody off. It's almost like I need to make a composite of the two shots. I don't know, some of these are just kind of cool on their own. There, now no one's in focus. God, some of these are just not, not good. All right, so I think I'm gonna go to wide cam. All right, I think what we're gonna do is we're going to adjust this a little bit we're coming up at the 37 minute mark and we don't really have any usable shots. I do like these little cups though that my guys are sitting on. Maybe these dragons need to I like the idea of shooting on this bamboo where they're in the clouds. All right, let's and maybe it just takes, maybe it will just take a different lens. Once I can get the composition, then we can kind of figure out how to, uh, how to get the characters to kind of look right. For example, Yoda, probably put the sword behind him so we can see his face. And you know what, how close? Oh fuck, oh fuck, how close? Get these guys. Oh, look at that. All right, so sadly, her arm is blocking her face, and we can't have that, people. All right, some things that look kind of weird. Maybe I'm, I'm trying to put too much into this, or maybe not enough. Okay, so this needs to be a little bit of profile and back a little. Do 
see a little less of the Yoda Meister's cup. All right, is any of this focus? Uh-huh, yeah, it's a problem. Yeah, we need more. How are we on dragon? Battle in the clouds. All right, the other dragon is now completely obscured. Let's throw him back here. He's gonna be way, way out of the shot. Uh, can probably be cropped. This thing in focus? Yeah, a little bit. Let's bump up our key lights one, adjust our exposure. We got a lot of white bouncing everywhere. Terrible. And let's see here. Let's see what we can. Too many dragons. Maybe we get rid of the dragons all over all together. Maybe they were just too much trying to shoehorn them all in. Maybe we get rid of the set. Maybe it's just these two characters. Fighting and a cloud bridge. All right, let's adjust the cloud bridge. Got an idea here, folks. Sometimes less is more. rotating of the figure. This could help. Again, we're going to need a different lens ultimately to make this work. As much as I enjoy this native wide lens, it doesn't get me where I want to go. 
but it's pretty good for simple blocking. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to a little intermission. I'm gonna grab some lenses in the other room, get a glass of water, come back, frame this up. I think we, we know that we're gonna have to just Just, uh, I think we know that we're going to have to just um, go real simple here. With the two characters and like a little piece of scenery. Maybe I've got like a bonsai tree or something I can pull out. Anyways, we're going to take a little break here. Be right back.
right, I have uh, returned. Hello there. It is I, Mark, and we are in the middle of filming, or shooting, I should say, some kung fu fights between Yoda and an anime character named Natsumi. We're doing like a kind of a battle in the clouds thing using some uh, fluffy bamboo cotton. I've got a couple of set pieces I've been trying to work in. I just went and grabbed in the other room another lens. This is a uh, 85 millimeter dog and um, it may get me across the finish line. It may not. So you can see what we're shooting here. And now I can start this lens. I can start moving my composition around a little bit. Uh, got Yoda here. We are looking for shots that we like. Sometimes Yoda's in focus. Sometimes he is not. Uh, this character looks great up in the air. Got like a little stand, clear stand that she's on. Yoda's on a little red cup. Flipped upside down. Just trying to go for something usable. Uh, not entirely sure what is and is not going to work. Been at this for about 40 minutes. It's a concept I had in two characters and trying to do uh, something different for today than what I normally do. And uh, sometimes you don't always get the thing that you're trying to do. Could go to my 200 lens if I wanted to. I feel like I need a little more. Actually, hello there. I feel like I need a little bit more set dressing. Hey, there's the camera. And uh, there's the characters. I've got some dragons. Three dragons, actually. Might be that these three dragons are just sort of three spirits of three gods watching in the background. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna go to this camera. Uh, stuff's over there. All right, hold on. We'll go back to subject cam. And uh, oh, one of them's completely obscured. come significantly further in. In fact, maybe we just get rid of this whole layer. Bring these three guys in all together. And And maybe they are all here. Now 
Maybe my fluffy clouds need a little, whoa. Need a little work. Yes, I do not need display. All right, so when in doubt, focus. I really like the focus ring on the lens, one of those guys. Uh, this is a little better than what I had before. When I go back and look at these pictures, I'll know what was all extremely terrible about them and what worked. A little better. We need to slide these guys. All right, hold on. So I have a rule where I can't have a thing in the background touching my characters, so I can't have this guy touching Yoda's. This guy can touch the other guy, but he can't touch Yoda's. And nothing wrong with having them in profile. See both the front and the side. I'm a little bit. Try and keep. characters as the main thing. Keep the clouds down a little bit. Can't get any lower. Um, this lens has definitely helped out a lot. This is a Canon lens. This is the EFS 17 to 85 millimeter. Man, if you see one of these things on eBay or if you're at the Goodwill and you see one of these things, you should get this lens. It looks, it looks great on any camera. Just get an adapter for whatever camera you have. Guarantee you will love this lens. I guarantee it. Okay. I've got a little bit of a rope bridge in the back. Cannot see it. Okay. Can I be back here? Trying to work some set pieces in. That's uh, not working. All right, hold on here. I want you guys to see what I'm doing here. I'm going to try and put some stuff in the background. Again, tried this earlier. The previous lens I was using wasn't wasn't having it though. It's a little better, a little better. Let's see, how about that? Okay, not bad. Now a little less dragon. Speaking of dragon, did you guys know that captain of the 70s pop duo Captain and Tennille, his last name was actually Dragon? And that's his real legal name. He was a kid in Hollywood, LA, and I believe his dad was a session player. I believe his dad was part of the Wrecking Crew. His brother Daryl Dragon played drums in a band called the, uh, the Surf Punks. Uh, but would you believe that his real name was Dragon and he took the pseudonym uh, The Captain? Now, you know, I got questions regarding that. I got questions regarding that choosing of that name over another name that's clearly far cooler. All right, maybe we. All right, maybe we need to change up our angle. See, I don't like this weird, I like this battle in the clouds, but I don't need this weird pile of snow. And these guys could always be closer. Sorry if like, if shaky cam is 
making things difficult. Just trying to use what I've got, all the assets, try to make this as cool as I can. I'm competing for everyone's love on the internet. It is difficult. Okay, almost there. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna switch to switch to this cam and uh, microphone's still working. Man, these these labs go through batteries quick. All right, oof, oof da. I'll see if we can get this thing a little bit higher. See if we can get these guys a little further out. Just the two of them. All right, here we go. Cutting back to subject cam. Uh, is anything in focus? Yeah. Kind of. I do like the white background today. Normally I find it. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell that this is a, a little radio that these guys are on. Less of that. Uh, this is looking much, much better. Not quite amazing. Maybe we'll do a little bit of this action for dragons whispering to each other. The characters are almost in the center. Slow, slowly tracking stage left. Different shots. I think these guys need to. I think this guy needs to be way back there and way over here. And even though you can kind of see this, folks, there's more, more bamboo clouds as needed. Even though I don't care that you can see it. I don't know if anybody, whoa, all right. It is always good to focus up every once in a while. We'll kind of push in. Uh, did a show yesterday, slight audio Gaffa in the beginning, had the desktop audio on, on OBS. So further out, the less you can see the little plastic stand. Um, and yesterday was just a paint day. And I painted, I painted this thing. Actually, uh, I'm gonna flip it around. Side looks better. Now, of course, Yoda is out of focus. That's because the lens has got a focal point. 
on the Natsumi character. And if I wanted to focus in the Yoda, I could, but then she would be out of focus since we're looking at her face and not Yoda's face. You know, focus her up, not him. That is today's photography lesson. When in doubt, focus the person whose face you can see. All right, we'll get some different shots here. This just looks like, looks like foundation. How long have we been going? We're hour seven. It's uh, about a quarter after three. Pacific time. Hope everyone's doing, doing A-OK -okay today. Thanks to everybody who stops in the stream. If you are a uh, Twitch user yourself and have a handle, uh, I would love a follow just to get the follow numbers up for all the monetary relief you get from, uh, from Twitch. Not really asking for much more than that. Hope that this provides some level of entertainment to you guys. We like seeing maker shows where they do stuff with action figures and photography. Um, God damn, Yoda, you need to get it together, buddy. Maybe we can sort of hide. Uh, another idea. Some other ideas here, folks. Involves going to this cam. Let's get rid of this. And we'll just take some of these magic rocks that I've got. And we'll just kind of make a little pile of rocks that Yoda's standing on instead. That red cup. And then I can kind of adjust my angles slightly differently. Um, and maybe these dragons need to just kind of go way back in the background. This is one of the best lenses. And you can cut off the dragons, but you can't cut off the anime character. And we could do... Extremo shots if we had to, but... Maybe have to go to the stabilizer. All right. Actually, I don't think the stabilizer works unless it's hooked up to the Canon camera. I think it's. I think it's a no go. Man, how many shots have I taken today? And are any, any good? Okay, we can kind of, the rocks here, we can kind of, and the rocks are pretty good. We can kind of lose hiding Yoda in the clouds. He would just stand up for himself. Alright, 
focus her up. Uh, we are back on subject cam. Try and get her in the center. This is probably the shot right here. Maybe I can squeeze a dragon in. Maybe I can push him further here. far can I take the clouds down you can see this plastic thing that she's on different angles. So I didn't really do much with, I don't know if you guys know, so I didn't really do much with the characters as far as their uh, poses. And the characters don't really do much as far as their poses go. I mean, let's face it, Yoda sucks. I mean, let's face it. I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, Yoda's Stupid character. I mean, he was good in the one movie where he was just like a weird old, old goofball out in the out in the hicks, and then they just sort of like pretended like he was this badass or something from then on out, and uh, that totally goes against the first character where he was really cool, which is just. An old weirdo in the Hicks. And, uh, to quote William Shatner, I can't get behind that. All right, we will, uh, we'll pull a couple of different angles here. Who knows, I may reinvent some of the stuff in Photoshop. Well, where are we? We are here in the studio doing some, hi there, all right, look at that, doing some uh, kung fu photography. This has been the Action Figure Torium. Been at this for about an hour 15 and um, needless to say, I got some good shots and uh, and some terrible shots, but I hope you enjoyed the process of trying to get good shots and terrible shots at the same time as I did. I'll be back on Wednesday. I may have a special guest. We may be doing some photography that's not specifically toy photography, but will definitely be an inanimate object that we will be uh, probably running on the... Um, Lazy Susan shooting that, making a video. So if you can, stop in Wednesdays, sometime between 1 and 3, I stream. And always have a real good time. And I would like to thank everybody who showed up today. Please follow along on the Instagram account, at Figatorium, the Twitter account, at Figatorium, 
Action Figuratorium on Twitch, and look for Action Figuratorium on YouTube. See you guys on Wednesday.